What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and I've shared some videos with you guys talking about how to get a cinematic look out of your drone and more specifically out of your Mavic Air 2. But today we're going to step it up another notch. So yeah, we've talked about key settings, we've talked about uh, what ND filters do, we've talked about shutter speed, slow motion, all that good stuff. But what about adding an anamorphic lens to the drone? Well, Freewell sent me an ND16 anamorphic lens to put on the front of the Mavic Air 2 and see what it's all about. Now, to be totally honest with you, this is my first experience ever using any sort of anamorphic anything. So I actually wanted to do some research and learn some history about where anamorphic lenses kind of originated and why, and I won't get into that in this video very scientific I won't go into it right now but long story short this is where that truly cinematic look came from and that's still what they're shooting and using today in major motion pictures so that's why I'm saying this is how you can step up your footage even more to achieve that cinematic looking footage with your Mavic Air 2 and all you have to do is attach this to the camera on your Mavic Air 2 and they've got them for other drones as well and you basically just shoot like normal. There's no other different settings you need to dial in. So that's really nice. They've made it simple on that front. Whereas if you use some other cameras, you may want to shoot in an anamorphic mode and all this stuff. On the Mavic Air 2, you just start shooting like you normally would. You really don't notice anything different while you're flying. It might look slightly skewed and you're probably gonna see some sweet lens flares if, if the sun is low in the sky or if there's headlights from cars or whatever. Uh, that'll definitely be a difference that you may notice. But other than that, it's gonna look fairly normal. But once you get back to the computer and start editing, that's really where the footage is gonna come to life. So I shot all this footage in 4K, 24 frames per second, uh, and de-cine-like, so that way I can color grade it and make it look as cinematic as possible. And the one thing that you need to remember to do whenever you shoot with an anamorphic lens is you need to de-squeeze it. That's what they call it, apparently. And how you do that is really simple. In Premiere Pro, all you have to do is right click your footage, interpret footage, and then select the pixel aspect ratio. And edit it just like you would any other drone video. Now this is a really cool effect. Like I said before, if you really want to step it up, make your footage look even more high quality and professional and cinematic, and for your friends, and your viewers to say, wow, that actually does look like a movie now. This little guy can do it. So, highly recommend checking them out. Uh, Freewell didn't tell me anything specific to say about this product. They just sent it to me, which is super cool. So, thank you Freewell for sending me this lens. And I'm gonna keep shooting with it and keep figuring out cool shots that you can get with this thing. But so far, I'm impressed. The optics look really good. I haven't noticed any quality changes or anything like that to my footage. It all looks really nice and I'm excited to, uh, to keep shooting with it. So with that said, that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in another video.